the dollar post its biggest weekly fall in over a decade, over 10 years, guys. Now, just a quick reminder as to why it was slammed. Uh, because uh, on Monday, the second half of that session, uh, it started, the market started to absorb all of that quantitative easing, all that pump into money, um, in, uh, money into the markets by the FOMC, as I explained throughout last week, right? Diluting um, the market with dollars. Now, uh, as another fundamental thing as, as well, uh, at the end of, towards the end of last week as well, the pressure picked up to the downside for the greenback. We had poor economic data in the form of the weekly jobless claims drastically rising above that three million mark. Very concerning the effects of COVID-19 uh, on the economy. Now, in terms of what to look forward to this week, I expect we could continue to see some dollar falling. Why? We've got big data points which are likely to be impacted uh, by COVID-19. You know, we've got a manufacturing data out of the US. We've got various forms of labour market data, ADP employment chains, the privately conducted payrolls. We've got the official NFP and we've got weekly jobless claims as well again. So a lot of key data points from the dollar. So it's going to be very much going to be in the focus and every single piece of data is going to be scrutinised heavily, I can't stress that enough guys, just because of the rising cases at the moment uh, for the US, they've well and truly breached over 100,000 um, for, for the coronavirus spreading across the United States. So do keep that in mind uh, this week for the greenback. Other than that guys, look, in terms of everything timely and receiving everything real time, fundamentally, technically, the setups, uh, talking about the analysis, everything, we do it every single day uh, via freaknetwork.io. To understand all the fundamentals yourself, check out our course, forexfundamentals.io. Other than that, that's it from me. Have a smashing trading week. Let's get it. Skrrr!